In this video, I'm going to share five time blocking strategies that you can use to take to your business to the next level starting today. Time blocking is based on a simple time management strategy. You schedule periods where you work on specific tasks. It's like breaking down your daily to-do list into chunks of time or what we would call time slots to work on tasks or projects. The idea behind time blocking is that we can get more done if we just focus on individual tasks rather than trying to work on multiple things at once. And in just a minute, I'm going to share five strategies. But first, what are the benefits and why is time blocking so effective? It's easy to lose track of what we are doing when we are constantly being interrupted by nonstop notifications and juggling multiple tasks simultaneously. You may not think much of it at first, but time blocking can profoundly impact your ability to stay focused and achieve your goals. If you really want to make it work, you need to pick and choose the most important tasks for each day and tackle them. Time blocking can be an effective tool for realtors, transaction coordinators, and team members. Here are the five time blocking strategies you can try right now. Number one, task batching. Task batching is about working on similar tasks and scheduling a specific time slot to get them done so that they take less mental energy. Number two, day theming. Day theming is going a step beyond task batching. For managers who have lots of different responsibilities in several business areas and feel that they are all competing for their undivided attention, day theming can be a great solution. Number three, time boxing. Time blocking and time boxing are often used as synonyms, and although they're related, they're not the same thing. Time blocking is a method of organizing your tasks and projects by blocking out chunks of time to focus on them. For example, you can say that you will work on that marketing campaign from 2 to 5 p.m. tomorrow. Time boxing is when you allow yourself only a limited amount of time to work on a specific task. In this case, you would say, I'll answer emails between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. tomorrow. Number four, the Pomodoro Technique. And even though it's a little fancy name, it's pretty simple. Basically, you work in for 25 minutes and then take a five-minute break after every four tasks. And finally, number five. The two-minute time blocking rule. If a task takes you less than two minutes, you can create a time blocking rule so that you do it right away instead of putting it off until later when it probably takes longer than two minutes. Common time blocking mistakes and how to avoid them. Time blocking is a simple concept, but committing to it can be a real challenge. The most common time blocking mistake people make are underestimating time needed, being too strict with your schedule, and forgetting to take breaks. Before I wrap up, I want to share several time blocking tools that can get you started. Here are a few examples. CRMs such as Outlook, time tracking apps, calendar apps, alarm clock apps, or visual timers. One last thing about time blocking. Try it for yourself. If you've never time blocked before, give it a go and see if it's something that you can use in your daily routine. It may take a few weeks to adjust, but if you stick with it, you'll soon start enjoying the benefits of more productivity, less stress, and being more in tune with your schedule. And who knows, you might just change the way you approach your tasks forever.